Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Engine Media, the gaming and targeted media solutions company, which started after a merger of three companies earlier in the pandemic, heading to the NASDAQ today under the symbol GAME, G-A-M-E. Joining us right now to discuss more is Tom Rogers, Engine Media Executive Chairman. He's also, of course, the former CEO of TiVo, former NBC cable president and a CNBC contributor, helped create the network. Tom, it's great to see you. We often talk to you uh, about sort of macro issues in media land. We rarely actually talk to you about engine media itself. So let's do that uh, now. And for those uninitiated who don't either know engine media or don't understand the component parts, because there are now many, tell us about it and tell us how to think about where this company lands and fits uh, compared to other companies in this sort of media gaming space. Well, thanks, Andrew, for having me this morning. Um, my partner, Lou Schwartz, and I are very pleased that uh, we have the symbol game and we begin trading today because uh, we think we got game. Uh, we are a, a unique collection of businesses. It's really a company where gaming and media meet. Uh, we have three gaming businesses. We have three targeted media solutions businesses. And uh, as a result, we really have multiple paths for uh, creating value. Um, we've talked a lot on this show about the decline of sub fees coming from cable and satellite and ushering in this new area of direct-to-consumer fees, needing consumers to pay fees directly uh, as a way for media business models to uh, survive this new era. And what we are all about are creating experiences for direct-to-consumer fees to emerge. Uh, we allow television viewers of sports to compete with one another, uh, paying cash games of skill, very different than gambling, uh, but nonetheless, a way for cash games of skill to uh, derive uh, fees. We're really where social meets mobile meets sports and esports meets gaming. And that not only comprises the gaming businesses, but as we've also talked about, uh, audiences are declining on traditional television. Yeah. And to make up for advertising, targeted media solutions are necessary. And that's the other part of our business. We're about providing ways for marketers to navigate the new worlds of social media and influencer marketing, programmatic advertising, and the data and analytics you need to really know in a world of live streaming, particularly for younger demographics, where to place your marketing bets. So, so we're so Tom, if you're an, Tom, if you're an investor out there taking a look at this company, thinking about whether to invest or not. Are you supposed to compare it to another type, an advertising company, to the Nielsen's of the world? Because I know there's a, a, a tracking component uh, that, you, that you're working on, or a more classic electronic gaming company? Well, uh, I think we don't uh, easily compare because we are a combination of assets, as I said, where gaming and media come together. Uh, if you want exposure to new forms of gaming that are about competition, more competition people have, the more intensely involved they are. We have an esports competition platform. So exposure to new forms of gaming revenue is certainly uh, one way to look at us. And uh, if you're interested in exposure to how the advertising and marketing world are going to emerge through influencer marketing, as you mentioned, we are sometimes referred to as the Nielsen of esports with the data and analytics capability we have, that being a big area, how to measure these new areas for marketers. We give you exposure there as well. So right. it's a combination of assets in gaming and media to right. give you exposure to the growing parts of those sectors. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.